Hey folks, Ray at DCRamerica.com here, and today I've got a complete video uh, comparison footage extravaganza for you. So this intro will be super short, and we're gonna go straight to the footage for the rest of the video. Uh, now what I've got here is comparisons against a bunch of different action cameras. So I've got the Hero 9 versus the Hero 8 versus the Osmo Action versus the Insta360 1R, uh, one inch. Uh, so like all the things in different modes, like tons and tons of craziness, craziness is all included in that. Uh, and it's as simple as that. Also on the bottom right now in the YouTube viewer itself, you'll see kind of the titles for each one of the different sections. So you can skip and find what you want. There's mountain biking, there's driving, there's cycling, there's running, there's just sitting there looking at pretty mountains. Like all the stuff is all there on all the resolutions. And then I'm also working on uploading a bunch of sample files as well into a Dropbox or some sort of share down in the description right there. That might take a couple more hours because I've got a lot of videos going up today and my interwebs is a is a bit lagging along with well, my brain. So if you're finding this video interesting or useful, simply whack that like button right now. It really helps with the video. And with that, go on and uh, have some fun looking at comparison footage. standpoint I'm talking there's no wind up here at all uh, maybe a tiny drift but not much so whatever my speed is right now I'm at like 18 miles an hour 20 miles an hour something like that so you can hear the audio on all of them as I cruise along here and make sure I don't crash into anything we got a cattle gate coming up here so speaking of crashing into things slow down so we don't hit that That was less than smooth. Almost as... That's super cool. Okay, 4K30 super wide on the GoPro and 4K30 rock steady enabled wise it's got on the Osmo Action. Just having some fun here on the flats. So uh, 4K30 high on the Hero Black and 4, 5K30 high on the Hero 9 Black. Just a pretty shot. Uh, helicopter is doing construction way up there on that ski whip or something. Uh, so that's what you're hearing up in the back there you're hearing something. So uh, 4K30 high on the Hero Black and 4, 5K30 high on the just a pretty shot. Uh, helicopter is doing construction way up there on that. Okay, this is a quick tour on sorts of 5K30 and uh, boost enabled high bit rate and 4K30 boost enabled uh, high bit rate as well. So I'll just start running here. Down here we go. You can see. And then here I am. Uh, from my audio standpoint, I can't imagine there'd be any issues. It's windless up here, so just my own running speed is the only wind there is. Carrying probably my backpack, all the crap in there, cameras and things like that. Oop. 
car gates. So look at that one. Even though I know those aren't electric until you get to the other side, I always feel like they're going to be electric, so I always go through them really slow, which is probably entirely counterintuitive because if I went through them fast, then it'd be a bit faster, but I don't know, it's just my thing. There you go, almost to the bottom of the hill. And then back to walking pace there and the mountain. And then sun uh, behind me right now. I really love having that screen there, it's so nice. And then uh, now I'm facing the sun again. And I think I'm, I think I'm off course. No, I'm on course, good deal. Okay, back to hiking. Just a bit of a simple hiking, walking test at this point up here. See how the uh, colors look right now. It's a uh, 5K30 wide and high bit rate for both and a uh, 4K30 wide for the Hero 8. Um, otherwise, all the other stuff stock defaults boost mode enabled for both. Um, but you I may mean, just, I'm not sure why I'm talking. Just look at the view instead. <laughs>
is the test of a car phone bath. Okay, this is a test of 4K linear, uh, 30 frames per second. In the case of the GoPro Hero 9, they've got automatic leveling on. The Hero 8 doesn't have that. The clear is along about 20 miles an hour right now. Got a sun in front of me. And just uh, enjoying a nice evening, kind of a couple hours before a sunset ride right now. You can see my shadow on me right there. Now if I go ahead and start tilting this a little bit, you notice on the Hero 9 it stays level like that. Uh, versus on the Hero 8 it's tilted. Here comes a bridge. Dropping in the shadows right now. See how the colors look and the lighting. This is all on auto, uh, standard bitrate as well. Flip it around now here. So I'm holding the level right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit of tilt there. I've tilted the camera. Train tracks. Across the street here. shadows to see what that looks like. It certainly seems a whole heck of a lot darker on the uh, Hero 8, but we'll have to see here. Again, all the pros rest settings are identical on both of these at all defaults. Not a lot of street lights here, some, but no, it's mostly just ambient light. Coming through here, just pedal on nice and smoothly. We have brighter lights coming up now. Okay, it's so coming up on colorful tunnels here. 4K 30 wide on both of these. Uh, so a bit darker ahead of the tunnel. And as we go into the tunnel, it's fairly well lit and colorful and kind of fun. Uh, and the GoPros are on gooseneck mounts. So, you know, a little bit of bounce there. Um, on a dual mount on top, it's connected to goose mount, goose neck on my uh, bike here, so it's you know not like crazy stable or anything like that compared to what it could be. But it's nice to see how the the bumps handle um, that vibration and kind of sway and whatnot. And then we'll just do a UE. Maybe we can turn the camera around and face me here. So guess the other end. Nice to see the positioning on the screen. You should see where it is. You guys know it's not like an amazing shot or anything like that, um, but to see like how it handles the color and stuff like that, it's more what I'm interested right now than a beautiful shot. Because obviously I'm in the shots, so that's not really helping the shots case in this particular instance. So with that, we have reached the end of the pretty tunnel. And then all this uh, coming up. It's coming. It's two in the morning. So I'm gonna slew this around and just kind of keep it static for a second. Let me get off the bike and put the kickstand down so you can just see what it looks like. Nice clean static shot. It's no movement. There we go. And then all this stuff. Uh, all about here because you know why not? Uh, GoPro audio, by the way, Hero 9, first of all, Hero 9 audio uh, is what you're listening to right now. Just talking relatively normal, a little bit high, I guess, but relatively normal. Uh, so here you go, comparison between the Hero 9 on this side and the Hero 8 on this side. And uh, that's all I got for you. I'm gonna go back and finish this video.
Okay, this is a test of the microphone audio draining. So I'm behind the microphones right now, uh, and then here I am in front of the microphone uh, right now talking. I'm gonna go ahead and just dunk it in the water for five seconds, and then we'll see how it sounds. So I'm gonna keep on talking. Five, and then I'm still talking. Now you're listening to the microphone on the screen right now, and then we'll go ahead and keep on talking and see how long it takes for the audio to clear. And I'll keep on talking a little bit longer just to make this a little bit more awkward. Okay, this is a test of the microphone audio draining. So I'm behind the microphones right now. Uh, and then here I am in front of the microphones uh, right now talking. I'm gonna go ahead and just dunk it in the water for five seconds and then we'll see how it sounds. So I'm gonna keep on talking. And then I'm still talking. Now you're listening to the microphone on the screen right now. And then we'll go ahead and keep on talking and see how long it takes for the audio to clear. And I'll keep on talking a little bit longer just to make this a little bit more awkward. This is all cameras in a linear mode of sorts handheld. Uh, the GoPro photos are started late, so uh, that's why it's slower, but 5K30 linear on the Hero 9 Black, 4K30 linear on the Hero 8 Black, 5K30 uh, linear on the one inch from Insta, and 4K30 uh, rock shade enabled on the DJI Osmo Action. Uh, so just looking at this here, it's quiet out. Um, so just a little bit of wind that you can see Getting some of the windmills there moving, uh, but not a ton. Uh, no, in particular, the shadows from below the tree here, uh, and just sort of some of the different uh, kind of color variances between them all. And you can see a bird up there going in front of it as well. Okay, just film 5K30 linear and linear horizon leveling. So this one I'm covering now is with horizon leveling on, and this one I'm covering now is with horizon leveling off. 
Uh, just a smooth path for right now. We'll find some nice stuff in a minute here. Okay. Back into real speed, uh, so you're seeing it at normal playback speed and you're listening to me at normal playback speed and more importantly listening to the audio because in Time Warp there is no audio, but now as in real speed there is audio, which is handy for this sort of stuff and I can just simply just tap it. Hey, it's uh, me again. If you found the video useful, you know the drill, right? You hit the button in the corner and it does the thing and it helps with the video and the, all the kind of stuff. Just, just do that, it really does help out uh, things quite a bit. And if you've got any comments or anything that you might wanna see other comparison footage for, also just simply scroll down the bottom there and type it in the doohickey. Uh, and then that way I can see it. And I might just upload some footage for it. I've got literally almost a terabyte of GoPro Hero 9 footage over the last uh, while that I've collected. So there's a pretty good chance I might have it and can probably add it into a share or something like that if you are looking for it. With that, have a good one.